what we do is of great impact and because it's of great impact it will have a great value our ambition as a company is not to stop at a multi-million dollar company we're here to make an impact Misschien is het leuk, Anthony, dat je iets vertelt over de Startup Hero Journey. Want over twee weken is de ja. finale. Gaat Maaike uh, een prijs uitreiken? Oh ja, nice. Wie weet het ja. <laughs> en, en wat haal je uit het programma? Ja. Nou, wat ik vooral uit het uh, programma haal is ook een netwerken. Een stukje netwerken. Dus uh, kont- nieuwe contacten. Nou, ik vind het wel grappig, want half jaar voordat ik uh, Debbie uh, had ontmoet, was een be- behoefte bij ons. Ja, we, we zitten wel internationale leidingen toen, maar we kennen onze eigen stad nog niet eens helemaal. Nee, ja. En dus een van de doelstellingen is, dat we moeten ook wel even laten zien dat we uit deze stad komen. We zijn in Almere gevestigd, uh, we zijn een start-up uit Almere, we komen allemaal uit Almere, uh, vele van hen zijn hier geboren, dus dan moeten we ook wel represent Almere, zeg maar. <laughs> en uh, nou, toen kwam uh, Toevallig genoeg kwam Debbie al tegen, net wanneer die wens daar was, zeg maar. En dat heeft ons inderdaad wel weer op plekken gebracht. In een korte tijd heb ik echt wel Almere, Almere bedrijfsklimaat goed leren kennen. Allerlei evenementen gehad. Ik heb je ook al een paar keer eerder gezien bij ICT Tribe en ja. bij Green Innovation. En, ja. en toen met de opening van Up Almere. Ja, en dat, dat, dat deed ik daarvoor niet. Dus dat heb ik echt wel, echt wel dankzij Up Almere te danken. <laughs> in this conversation. Yes, yes. Thank you as well, obviously, for yeah. uh, for uh, for allowing me to uh, to uh, present this with Op Almere. Of course, yes. of course. And I hope uh, you accelerate much faster uh, from this point and. Yes. And be that unicorn that you want to be. Yes, and I feel I feel this is possible. Also, of of course, of your help uh, with Opalmeda. We feel already. We just been working for uh, now how many months? Three months together, uh, something like that. Something like that. I, I don't know. April, yeah. maybe. Yeah, maybe something so. like that. Yeah. yeah. And I already have so many new relations because of this uh, this accelerator program. So I'm very happy to be part of this. And uh, yeah, I, I can only see it uh, going in the right direction. Back when I started with Anthony, I've tried a few ventures with Anthony, which failed. And we were the only person standing in the end every time. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking like, we want to make impact on the world. We want to do something out of our heart to make impact on the world, Mm -hmm. to make the world a better place, Mm -hmm. you know, to make the world more transparent. So we were thinking like, how can we do this? And what we actually came up with is data. By being transparent about data, you're being transparent about your business, you're being transparent about your product, you're being actually transparent about everything you give open out there, Mm -hmm. right? So that's actually how we started in our journey. In our journey, we dove in and we Mm -hmm. tried to find in the supply chain what are actually the issues there, Mm -hmm. you know? What are the issues we can actually really solve? What is actually the problem? Mm -hmm. And we saw that there's a lot of problem about missing data, transparency between Mm -hmm. parties, between end consumers, Mm -hmm. trust. So when we started building, that was our goal. No, and along the way, we have seen that actually transparency is even more important than we actually ever thought. I'm very curious, like going way back from when you started, you maybe worked in other companies before. What was the reason why you really wanted to start something for yourself? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, You know, working at different corporates, because life goes differently than you always plan. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And working for different corporates, I see, I saw many things that could improve. For example, I worked within within different corporates where I was always the youngest. Mm -hmm. I was the only colored guy. Uh, All of those things. And I was like, how come this is not like, there's so many talent out there. Why is that talent not being utilized? Mm -hmm. Uh, And and also, there was so much things that 
could improve. And but when I came up with the ideas, uh, I didn't felt that it was always taken seriously. And then at some point, I thought, yeah, that could be better, right? So then that idea of starting a company grew in my mind. But I didn't know what to start initially. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then at some point I went to a, uh, a conference with some with some famous speakers like Bear Grylls, Al Gore, some other famous people. Mm-hmm. And the message that I got there is really you have to challenge yourself and bring yourself to a level where you feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. because that's where you grow. The next day I went to my employer and said, I'm going to stop working. Okay. Big step. A big step, yeah. <laughs> because I, was, I, I felt so fired up. I was like... I need to do something. Yeah. I can't do more. I have endured so much in life. I can't do something more because why did I had all that hit in life without using that shield that I that I got from being hit so many times? Yeah. So I think that was the first seat of starting a company. So I'm interested, when did you have that first feeling of making an impact? Okay. I'm going to be like very transparent to you. Mm-hmm. The first feeling that I felt I want to make impact is where I really were connected to myself. I didn't make a big impact yet on the world. That's my vision, of mm-hmm. course. But uh, what I'm feeling right now is like every time we make integrations, every time we get a step, we get a step closer to the goal to make the world more transparent. That's actually what's driving me. You know, all the little steps, every little targets, you know, all the goals we're reaching, everything, every step we get a bit closer by making the world more transparent and sustainable. Uh, When I started to meditate, when I started to believe there's something bigger than I. Mm -hmm. I believe in God. And that really drives me to see that there's more to life than just the physical things that are out there. And when I started to study on spiritual life, Mm -hmm. I also saw that actually... Life is being at value to each other. It's not only gaining everything for yourself. It's like being able to share your experience, share your knowledge, share your skills. And that's where I found out, okay, you know, I want to make impact, not not just because I want to make impact, because it's my duty to make impact. Mm -hmm. You know, be at service, be at service for your for your other human being, be at service for your environment, because we are one with nature. And sometimes we distance ourselves from nature, but we are we are made from nature. Yeah. So it's so silly to think that, yeah, okay, we are going to take take care of the nature. No, that nature always took care of us. That's true. And that's how I see things. And that's where I started to realize, okay, you know, I have to go deeper in myself to understand who am I? What am I? Am I only this physical being or am I more? Uh, And yeah, by doing so, I, um, I, I felt, yeah, we should do something as a team, as a person. And yeah. Yeah.